Welcome to this first product feature overview on FISNA. Now, if you haven't had a chance to watch the FISNA Enterprise Deep Dive video featured here on Longaway Acres, please feel free to click on the link in the description below for a full overview of what FISNA can do and the value it can bring to your organization. Now, in this video, we want to start introducing you to the application itself and specifically how to set up your environment to start ingesting models. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, when you first log into FISNA, we place you directly on the main search page. And we'll be covering that in an upcoming episode. But what we're gonna be looking at in this first video is projects and folders. As these are the most basic constructs from which you'll be storing and accessing your 3D models. So if I click on project here, you'll see I already have a long away acres project. And that's where I've stored many of the parts and assemblies that we'll be using for later demos. But let's go ahead and create a new project here. I'll just go ahead and call it example project one. And I can put in a description, which can be whatever I want. And I'll just click the create button. I'll go ahead and create another project and call it example project two. And also hit create. So now I have a total of three projects. Now, if I click on folders, I'll see that I already have a lot of folders in here. I have a folder dedicated just to turbocharger demo. I have my dedicated long way acres folder. I have a folder just for miscellaneous stuff, one for a small engine demo. So I can have these organized any way I'd like. So let me go ahead and create a new sample folder. So under actions, I'm just going to create a new folder. And I'll call this example folder one. And again, I can add a description. There's other user defined fields on folders. I'm just gonna keep it simple for now. And this is where I can add this folder to a project. So let's go ahead and add it to example project one. So folder one, project one, and then I'll click create. And like with projects, let's go ahead and create another folder. So actions, create new folder. And this one I'll call, wait for it, example folder two. And then we'll add folder to, to example, project to. So I did all this just so it's super easy to follow and everything's one to one. So if I go back to my projects here and click on example, project one, and look at folders, I will see in fact, example, folder one. But I can easily add other folders to this project simply by clicking on the add folder button. So I can go ahead and select another folder, say example folder two, and add it to example project one. So in this example, example folder two actually belongs to two different projects. And what we'll see later in this series is that FISDA gives you the ability to mix projects and or folders when searching and comparing to give you even more complete control over what parts and assemblies you want to have access to based on your needs at that time. Okay, so that's it. You now understand projects and folders in the context of FISNA. Now, this may not seem like much, but remember this is where you're gonna be storing all of your models. As we get deeper into these episodes, this structure will be more and more valuable as you start using things like the match report. It also means it's time to upload our first models into FISNA, and that's the next feature overview in the series. That link is also in the description below, and please also check us out on fisna.com as well as the social media links listed right here. Thanks again for watching.